And you normally read uh, philosophy? Uh, no. I mean, I think, well, in every book there's a little philosophy. I'm not a huge Kafka fan. I was just in Prague recently. Oh, he's from Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. oh, that's well, he's, interesting. Yeah, that's where his house is. I didn't know, actually. Yeah. Cool. Well, if you go, they'll, they'll talk about Kafka. So. Nice. And what else do you like to read? Do you like I generally read fiction, non-fiction? Fiction and like 20th century American lit. Okay. Who's that, Mark Twain or something? Mm, like Salinger or maybe... I just recently read a novella called A Day No Pigs Would Die. It's really a Day nice. No Pigs Would Die? Yeah. That's like when everyone's vegetarian or Muslim. Well, I won't spoil it, but you're on the right track. Oh yeah, nice one. Yeah, what do you cool. read? Um, I read a lot of different stuff. So I, I like um, business, biography, psychology, uh, philosophy too. And I like old English classics and Russian classics. Russian classics, yeah. such as? Hmm. Tolstoy, Dostoevsky, you all, like Tolstoy? all the usual stuff. Yeah, I think he's a great writer. Mm -hmm. And obviously in translation, maybe it's different, but... Um, yeah. It's still very cool. What about Bulgakov? Yeah, Master Margarita yeah, and stuff. Like yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah, I like Russian lit. Nice one. Mm -hmm. That's good. We have something in common already. Yeah, I, I guess so we do. Correct. It's important to always focus the conversation on the girl as much as possible because then it's just going to be more interesting for her. So, how are you able to be free in the middle of the morning on a Thursday? Um, well, I do have a job, but it's, it's kind of from the laptop, from home, or, or from anywhere. But, um, say, internet stuff, and with America, so in Europe, I need to wait until they wake up and whatever, so right. I'm, I'm kind of free. And yeah. then can be working at home, lying in bed, mm -hmm. lying on the balcony, <laughs> generally lying down, working. <laughs> That's nice. So that's cool. And how about you? How come you're not at work? Now? Well, I have. I'm a. I work at the university, so I have kind of an unusual schedule. I have some free time during the day, and I work in the evenings. Mm hmm. Nice. Yeah. So you teach at the university. That's interesting. Yeah. And Tell me, do you actually like what you do or you do it just for money? No, I really do like what I do. Great. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're making a difference in people's lives and all of this? Yeah, I, <clears throat> I actually do. I honestly, I feel like what I do is important and that the information I convey will be valuable to these people and to my students. That could be true because I still remember uh, my teachers from primary school mm -hmm. and uh, in secondary school, I don't know if you're the same, but did you like the subjects most where the teachers were good? Mm -hmm. And then later, maybe you weren't even interested in that subject. So mm -hmm. a good teacher can just change the whole course of someone's life. Absolutely. And like looking back and thinking, what years of school are your favorite? It's like, well, whatever year you had the good teachers, because what you learn is kind of irrelevant. And you're a good teacher? They like I you? I think so. I hope so. <laughs> That's I cool. try. No, I like it, to be honest, because it's, it's very rare. You know, most people just do their job for money and mm -hmm. then they come and moan about it and they hate it. So it's good to meet someone like you who actually enjoys what they do and is making a difference. Thanks. This is a nice thing that you can ask anyone. So well done for picking this. It's the right option. And it can always lead to an interesting conversation. Whether she's into a job, she can tell you why, or she's not, and she can tell you something else that she's passionate about. And what's your subject? What do you teach? American culture. Huh, what, what does that entail? So kind of a lot, quite a few different themes. For example, we kind of started with an overview of American values, which was really interesting. Like um, freedom and stuff, yeah? Things like that, and even more so, for example, an interesting one is how Americans relate to the future. Like it's something we feel like we can control in some sense. And like back to the future. The movie. Mm, I don't see how. I don't know what you mean. Okay, but Americans think that they they control their own destiny. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. 